Over the past few weeks, there's been a lot of discussion on Twitter about what technology every web developer needs to know in 2020. Some tweets will say specific technologies like SQL and React, and others will counter those and say, really, you should focus on the fundamentals of JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. Now, I think the reason these tweets are resonating is because our industry can be overwhelming and people just wanna know what they're supposed to do next. So I wanted to weigh in on this topic and pull from both my own experience, as well as the developers that have been in the trainings and classes that I've taught. So to start off, I'm not gonna bury the lead here. The number one skill that every developer has to learn is how to learn. Our industry changes so fast and these listicle tweets are a testament to that because it seems like we need a new one every single year. But the reality is that once you get good at learning new technology, the specific tool or framework doesn't really matter that much because however you're building websites today is gonna look totally different from how you do it three or four years from now. So I think the first step in tackling all this is acknowledging that the only constant in our industry is change. And therefore you must practice the ability to learn new things and get comfortable being outside of your comfort zone. All that being said, I do have some practical advice for you depending where you're at in your career. Now, if you're just starting out, don't worry so much about the particular tool or framework you learn. You just need to worry about getting your reps in so that you can actually build side projects and demonstrate your capabilities to others. That's gonna help you actually figure out what it is you wanna specialize in. And again, because tech changes so fast, whatever you learn today is not gonna be what you use a couple years down the road. Believe me, I've known lots of developers who have had very successful careers and worked with tools that fall anywhere on the popularity spectrum. So instead of being scared about choosing the wrong tool or framework, just focus on what motivates you and what you're naturally interested in, because that will help drive you to put the time needed in to actually finish some work and show it off to potential employers. Also, don't let skill lists on job postings scare you because the best employers don't care about what you already know. If an employer will only hire someone with three years of React experience, they're probably not set up with the kind of support structure you want early on in your career. With space and time for things like pairing with senior developers and learning new technologies. So if you didn't make it through an interview because you didn't have a specific skill, there's a good chance that you'll be better off somewhere else. Now, as you move forward in your career and you get more experience trying out uh, different parts of the stack and different technologies, you're going to figure out more of what you actually like and what you want to do next. And that should really be the thing that drives how you invest your learning time. Do you want to make websites or do you want to build mobile apps or do you want to write code that goes on a SpaceX shuttle that orbits the planet? These are all very different career paths that demand very different skill sets. And there's no one size fits all tweet that's gonna tell you what you should learn next. Even in web development, which is my area of specialization, there's so many different things that you could choose to focus on. I got into web development through data visualization. So when I was starting out, I was spending a lot of time with D3JS, which is this JavaScript data visualization library, just because I liked it. And I got a job where I was able to use it. And then I kind of fell in love with uh, UI development with JavaScript. And so I started investing more in the language itself, as well as front-end frameworks like Ember and React. So once you know more about the kind of work you wanna do, you can tailor your learning and invest in tools and technologies that will allow you to do that work. And for those of you who have been in the industry for a while and maybe have this feeling that you're falling behind or you haven't kept up with the latest tech, I just wanna encourage you that we all experience that and uh, that feeling never really goes away. As a personal anecdote, I haven't learned TypeScript yet, but TypeScript is really important to the work I want to do, both on the teaching side and on the open source development side. So I need to dive into it soon. I'm not necessarily looking forward to going through that learning curve again, but I've done this before time and time again in the seven years I've been a developer. So I know that even if I feel a little overwhelmed at first, eventually I'll get it. In fact, precisely because I have avoided learning TypeScript for as long as I possibly can, is probably the perfect indicator that it's the technology that I should learn next. So just to close out, you know, this is a nuanced conversation and don't lose sleep over 280 characters. If you prioritize learning how to learn, 
and demonstrate your curiosity and your competence to others, you won't have to worry about choosing the wrong tech when it comes to having a very healthy career. There's a lot more to say about this topic, uh, but this is kind of a new style video for me. So if you have more questions or want to hear more of my thoughts on this, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, if you celebrated Thanksgiving, I hope you had a great week. And if not, get your hands on some sweet potato casserole because that that's just the best dish ever. And if you haven't tried it out, you're missing out. Just do it for me. All right, y'all. Take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.